you have people coming across the southern border from all over the world. Haitians can get to the United States easier by flying to Mexico and walking across the border. And so I, I would anticipate if flights resume, that will likely be where a lot of those folks uh, who are trying to flee, if they want to come to the United States, they're probably going to go to Mexico and then come in through the border, knowing that Biden uh, will just let everybody in. Also, I think it's important to point out, we focus on the border. We're obviously doing things to interdict these, these illegal vessels, which I think is really important. Uh, but Biden is also flouting the law by creating an illegal parole program where he flies in people from foreign countries against the law and puts them into our community. So, for example, you just had an instance where um, one of the people Biden flew in from Haiti uh, is now charged with sexually assaulting a 15-year-old with disabilities in Massachusetts. And you think to yourself, how is that protecting our people? You're putting your own, our own people at risk through violating the law, a policy that's not authorized under the law. It's a, it's a violation of parole, how that's used. And he's doing that. And it's causing a lot of problems. So yes, the border has been a huge issue. There's a lot of different ways in which this administration is flouting the law. So in Florida, we're going to continue uh, to do everything we can to protect folks and to make sure that, that this state continues to be a great state uh, to live in. Uh, we can look, it's important to get the policy right. And uh, we've got our policy so much better today than it was six or seven years ago in the state of Florida with respect to illegal immigration. But uh, you also need to have people that are going to be implementing that policy on the ground. And you have that here in Polk County under Sheriff Grady Judd. You have it across Florida with so many great uh, sheriff's departments, police departments, and then, of course, our state agencies, all these people that have been out there uh, fortifying our coastline. But it's also the case just to have a free and orderly society, the sheer number of people that have poured in, even if it was all legal, you can't take in 10 million people like this. It overwhelms schools, it overwhelms health care, it overwhelms all the resources that are supposed to be dedicated to helping American citizens. And what Biden's administration does is he's really put people here illegally at the front of the line. You know, they can fly around this country without having identification. You would never be allowed to do that with TSA and all this other stuff. They'll put them up in hotels and pay for the hotels uh, in ways that they wouldn't do for American citizens. And so I think what these bills will do, yes, someone comes in and commits a crime after being deported. They're going to have the book thrown at them. That's good. Uh, we're ensuring that these local governments can't recognize any of these rogue out-of-state licenses, uh, making sure it's you know, driving without a license is going to be treated very seriously if you're here illegally. I think I think it's, it's, it's all good. It will reduce criminal aliens for sure. But I think it'll also just be a disincentive that, that Florida, you know, we probably have as many foreign born as a percentage of any state, but, but we want people to do it right. Um, and, and we don't want to have a massive number of people pouring. Look, we've got people coming and pouring into the state from from Illinois and New York and California as it is. And that's legally, you know, we can't have uh, an influx beyond that. We just wouldn't be able to accommodate it. So I think that this will help recognize that just a massive number of people pouring into a country, that just doesn't work. Uh, and it's been really, really devastating to a lot of these jurisdictions. You know, they said they were sanctuary jurisdictions, so they were totally willing to talk the talk. Now when it's time to walk the walk, they're singing a much different tune. So we don't want to be in that situation. We're not a sanctuary state. We do not allow sanctuary cities. And we're adding to what, you know, when, when even the New York Times is admitting that our bills from last year were the strongest in the country, you know we must be doing things right.